Apostle, I'm struggling with sickness. Go to that which is written. Open your Bible. Find out there were sick people in the Bible who were healed. What did they do? This world is not designed for spirits. It's a three-dimensional framework of existence. Three-dimensional entity. So in case a spirit has jurisdiction within this context, a man permitted that spirit to function. In fact, prayer is earthly permission for heavenly interference. Can I pray for your finances? Will it mean anything to you if you experience a higher level of the blessing of the Lord on that wise? You need money. Let me tell you, period. It's as simple as that. There is no other way around it. Money is not everything. But as far as the matters of economy is concerned, you will be surprised how crippled your life will be. Are we together now? The person who is sick, cannot reach the hospital but the person who is poor everything you need is around you but the wherewithal to make it yours that is even more disastrous if you bring something for a sick person to eat the person may not have the energy so it's not an issue of is that the appetite is not there but a poor man will pass every shop available everything available but the means to connect it to your destiny is not there and remember when we talk about finances i will emphasize again that this is not some mundane carnal quest for materialism but let me tell you i'm a responsible man of god and i believe in responsible christianity that administers to you the whole counsel of god anyone who tells you to downplay the relevance of finances is joking first with himself and then you are we together the name of jesus christ is very heavy it takes financial resources to take it high enough for the nations to see the needs that surround your life most of us here if we were to read your prayer request over 70 to 80 percent of them will largely be dependent on finances finance is very important because it can solve so many things it cannot give you peace but it can enhance the atmosphere that gives you peace let me tell you, one of the reasons, one of the ways you become a peacemaker on earth is to have the means to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what be If you are owing Caesar, doesn't matter your relationship with God, as far as Caesar is concerned, the tribute collectors will come to disgrace you. When Jesus was ministering, they came and said, you claim to be a man teaching righteousness, yet you are owing the law. So you must know how to give to Caesar what belongs. Jesus acknowledged that there are some things that belong to Caesar. I want to pray for you. The kind of Christian experience where you love Jesus Christ, but then you are being incapacitated economically. I've told you that many people, because of this economic backwardness, it can tilt you towards the corridors of compromise. God can bless you, so bless you, eh, that you solve your financial problems. It does not become a concern again. Your concern now becomes building destiny and the purposes of God. Thinking about money day and night is idolatry. It's a curse. It was never supposed to be that way. There is nobody, an intelligent God will not design a human being to be obsessed and thinking about money because what you think about that worry is a kind of worship. Are we together? It says, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable. Many believers love the Lord, but this finance thing, especially within the, you know, you do not want to compromise your faith, but then it must finance, listen, until you know how to force finance to answer especially co-laborers those who are in ministry here listen to me in all you're getting trust god for grace to sort this money thing once and for all this is not an issue of pride this is this is until that is solved i guarantee you there is a, a man a kind of concentration you will never have as far as destiny is concerned are we together the absence of finance is one of the biggest sponsors of compromise, even in our world today. Many people who love the Lord are forced to bend over and compromise. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus. It says, having obtained help from the Lord, I continue to this day. I pray for someone. The dimension of wealth you have not seen i call upon my god the god of jeshuron the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may my god surprise you may my god surprise you may my god surprise you 
may my God surprise you open up strange financial gates for you connect you to strategic helpers give you wisdom to manage and multiply your resources in the name of Jesus Christ hear me and your acquisition of financial resources will not be at the expense of your relationship with Jesus the wealthier you are the more passionate you will be about the things of God with it you will be a blessing to many with it you will be a blessing to yourself listen I'm not praying for you for money to just buy tea and bread you don't need my prayer for that to happen just be valuable I'm praying for you to become a trustee a trustee of the wealth of the kingdom receive it in the name of Jesus Christ thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads we walk through water and through fire and thou brought us into a wealthy place a man can be helped by God may that be your portion now finally you have honored me you have prayed for me I have I understand there are many prayer groups that have prayed prayed and fasted for days just lifting me before the Lord whatever gift you give me is there's there's only so much I can do but that prayer you have prayed for me I just want to speak one prayer from my heart one prayer from my heart and you care to receive it I want to pr I'm going to pray for you no no you don't have to kneel please stand but it is from the depth of my heart every man has a covenant with God there are secrets that make for the rising of men there are things God is always telling us in every season and when he sends a word to Jacob he lights it upon Israel I truly want to pray that one prayer with that we'll wrap up the service but I want you to receive it if this is the only reason why you have come here tonight your coming will be worth it if you do receive this hallelujah can I pray that prayer for you father there is a grace called favor you have helped me you have made me to become an an expression of your favor that it is true you can pick a man and place that grace upon him my Bible says and Jesus increased in wisdom stature favor with God and with men you have helped me in the name of Jesus from the abundance of that which God has given I stretch my hands on this day to as many who will care to receive from tonight carry that grace evidently <laughs> 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 Carry that grace evidently. Number two, God can empower you to walk signs and wonders, but He can make you a sign and a wonder. He says, I and the children that the Lord has given me, He didn't say we will produce, He said we are, that your life becomes a living epistle. I'm praying for you. The grace that makes ordinary men to become global phenomenons, the, 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 the grace that can make an ordinary man to become a sign and a wonder wherever you are, I impart that grace upon you. I impart that grace upon you. Let the nations hear your voice. Let the nation see the hand of God upon your life. I impart that grace upon you. Carry that grace evidently in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I want to release that grace for honor. You see, it takes honor for a generation to listen to you. It takes honor for a generation to, to, to acknowledge the hand of God upon your life. Joshua was full of the spirit already, but he told Moses, take some of your honor and place upon him so that the children of Israel will hearken to him. Being skillful and gifted is wonderful, but that is not enough to command the attention of a generation. Being honest and a person of integrity is not enough. 
you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for someone tonight may this mantle of honor that can cause all and sundry to acknowledge God in your life and to reward you as matching your true worth may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you so shall it be, in Jesus' name.